Hey everybody, this is Tom Feethy from Calvary Baptist Church. I want to say good morning. Um, Bo has asked me to share a devotional with you, just a brief greeting. I know that a lot of families are getting together during this week to talk about the Lord, to talk about Easter, to talk about the death of Christ and His resurrection. And so I'm delighted to be a part of, of speaking with you for a couple of minutes. On Wednesday today, if when you're probably watching this, you're going to be talking about the verses in the Bible in John 6 where Jesus said he is the bread of life. I've got some bread here. Well, it's bread, but it's a special kind of bread. This is an English muffin, a raisin cinnamon English muffin. I love English muffins and I love raisins and cinnamon in them. This isn't just boring old white bread. It's an English muffin that I will put in the toaster and probably put some put some margarine on it, some, some nut butter, and maybe a little bit of cream cheese. Yum, yum, yum. Well, it'll, be, it'll taste good, but not only will it taste good, it'll give me strength for the day. It'll help keep me alive. Jesus said he was the true bread that comes down from heaven. He gave his life on the cross. And that is what makes it possible for us to live forever, to be forgiven of our sins. But not only did Jesus die on the cross, he rose from the dead. That's what Easter is all about, the death of Christ for our sins. The resurrection of Jesus Christ to guarantee that all who believe in him will have eternal life. But Jesus gives, give, gave us this illustration of bread because bread is what keeps our bodies alive. Not just bread, but food keeps our bodies alive. It also gives us pleasure. It also gives us strength. And trusting in Jesus, believing in him, does those things for us. First of all, when we receive Christ, the Bible says to all who believe in him, that to them he gave the right to become children of God. We, are, we become spiritually alive and we are forgiven of our sins when we trust in Jesus Christ that he died on the cross for our sins and rose from the dead. But day after day, he gives us strength, spiritual strength. Strength to obey the Lord, strength to follow Jesus, strength to love him. He also gives us great pleasure. We have peace, we have joy. We delight in the world that he has made. We delight in family and friends. We delight in talking with him in prayer. We delight in reading his word to get wisdom, to get guidance, to get encouragement, sometimes to get back on the right track, to get corrected from when we've gone astray. Jesus Christ is the bread of life who gives life to the world. I saw this in the most amazing way the other day because on Saturday, my mother, who was 93 years old, died. She is more alive today than she ever was in this world. Though it was hard to see her go, I know that she is with Jesus because she loved him and trusted his word. Jesus being the bread of life gives me comfort today because I know my mom is really alive now. She has a true home in heaven. And one day I will see her again because when I was 21 years old as a college student, I asked Jesus to forgive my sins and be my savior. And uh, he has given me strength all through these years to serve him, to follow him, to love him, to love my family, to love my wife and love my children, to teach kids and grown-ups, college students, international students about Christ, to go on mission trips. He has been with me to give me strength, and he promised that he would be with me to the end. The Apostle Paul said at the end of his life that everybody had kind of, they had let him, a lot of people let him down. He said, but Jesus Christ didn't fail him. The Lord stood at my side, he said, and he gave me strength and he will safely bring me to his heavenly kingdom. Jesus Christ is the faithful one. He was, he's the bread of life who loves you, loves your families, and wants you to grow in your faith. Thank you for listening today. Hope that you will enjoy this Easter and know Jesus as the bread of life.